Hey, my friends from around the world, just uh, sending this along. This is a great little teaching from uh, Herb Fitch, and this is from the um, St. John Revelation series. Uh, this is class 12, the first side. He talks about uh, this is in, in Habakkuk and really identifies the way we need to make sure we're handling the world mind not people, not persons, not conditions, but world mind. So enjoy this. Very rarely referred to, which shows you just how to go about this. Although it's just repetition of something you have already been doing. It's the third chapter of Habakkuk. It is the 17th, 18th, and 19th verses. If it sounds familiar, it's because Jacob did the same thing when he wrestled with the intruder. And here is how it reads. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines. The labor of the olive shall fail and the fields shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet by kind's feet, and he will make me to walk upon mine high places, to the chief singer on my string instruments. <clears throat> this is the technique of redemption. This is being in the Christ mind. This is seeing that there are only crippled images. <clears throat> that there are only crippled images conditions in world thought. Now what is happening here is that you are discovering that Jesus never had a human enemy. You are coming up to the higher ground to see that the only adversary there was on this earth for Christ Jesus was not a man, not an empire, not human conditions. His one adversary was the world mind. And that is your only adversary. Every adversary that you see on a localized individual basis is a mistake. In the Christ mind, you are redeeming only the world mind, not individual beings. Your target is no longer the person, the place, the condition, the problem at hand, but rather you are lifted to a new elevation to recognize that the real warfare is not between you and the people around you, not between you and nations, not between you and the world situation. That is not the warfare at all. It is the wrong arena and the wrong battle. And you cannot win in that battle because you are fighting a non-existence. Agree with thine adversary, the real one. And then you find you too have one adversary. Not changing conditions, not weather, not poverty, not sickness, nothing like that at all. Your only adversary is the world mind. And you are going to learn how to veto the world mind when the seal is broken. Now your Christ mind is the match for the world mind. And you have discovered that your individual human mind is not a match for it. And so you single and so your single pointed quest is have ye that mind which
which was in Christ Jesus. Have ye that mind that was in Christ Jesus? So there we have it. <clears throat> have ye that mind? That's what does the work. That's what sees the purity, the innocence, the beauty and love everywhere in this world. That's our place to bear witness to that. Hope that helps and love you all. So great talking deeply with few of you and we'll talk again soon. Blessings.